Hello, hello, hello. This is the African Diaspora Teacher. It's been a long time. Please uh, subscribe and uh, share this video. Something has been bothering my mind. And what has been bothering my mind is when I look at this kitchen counter, I saw something that uh, uh, I would like to tell you guys about concerning Africa. As you all can see, there's a, food, a fruit bowl over here. This is Africa. The bowl is Africa, our continent, our land, our beloved land. And the fruit over here are the resources. And guess what? The people over here, these are Africans. You can see them. All kinds, of, all colors of Africa, right here. Okay, and I'm going to tell you why they are in this shield. I'll call it a veil. And who are these people over here? These are white people. These are white people with some of these resources from here over there. And the people in this with this shield allow these Europeans and their friends, the Chinese, to come and take this thing beneath them, under their feet. You can see, right? They are standing, the African is standing on a huge bowl of resources. So the bowl of resources that the African is over here, what the African will allow the European to come and take the resources underneath him. And then the European will use a little bit of it as a, as a, 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 a bribe to bribe the African. Why is it that the African is so blind not to see or to seize the opportunity to take the whole bowl for himself. You don't need no bribe from this man. This man is not supposed to bribe you from anything. But he, you allow him to bribe you from what he takes from you, make money out of it, and use a, a fraction of that money to bribe you so that he can come back again to take more and more and more. What is stopping the African from not seeing that he could take over the whole bowl for himself, and he doesn't have to kotow for anybody, don't have, have to beg anybody, don't have to, you know, do anybody's bidding. Is this shield? What is this shield? The shield is Islam and Christianity. That is the shield. That is the shield boxing the African in. You can see, the African is boxed. In a, in, a, in a vase. Meanwhile, sitting on tons of gold and diamond and fruit and fishes and everything that everybody is stealing from them, the African is boxed in this shield. This shield represents nothing but the two evils that is bedeviling the African, Islam and, in, and his twin brother, Christianity. That is what had boxed the African. As many as they are, and the few Europeans over here are able to run corn games on them, and they are not able to, you know, uh, 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 reason it up. They're not able to catch it up. No time, no soon. Sitting on top of huge resources. These are the resources. The bowl is the land. These are the resources. That is the African, shielded by Islam and Christianity. And these are the criminals coming, bribing them from their own money. The money that they, the European bribe you is your own money. Why do you have to take fraction, a peanut, from somebody who is stealing from you? Why can't you just seize the power Seize the opportunity to have it all for yourself. What is wrong having all this thing for yourself, Africans and our leaders? 
What is wrong? How, how, how hard it is to have this for yourself. That you have to allow somebody to take it from you, process it, and give you a piece, peanut, as a bribe. Do you like bribe? Do you like the humiliation of being bribed by peanuts? You got to do better than that. Nyegwezanyi.